and gals, and here from Drake Wing Gaming. And some of you new ads for the Gaming Drag today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings and a Spat. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's -a go. Alright, there. Okay. Alright. This is, uh, kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh? Uh, maybe do lose. Kind of cold in here. It is, is it? I suppose it might be for you, considering your lack of fur. Luckily, our scales are pretty good insulators. As you saw last time, it actually goes both ways. We're pretty resistant to both heat and cold. Just let me know if I turn. Just let me know if I turn blue. You turn blue when you get cold? I'd like to see that. It was just a joke. Besides, when that happens, it's usually too late to get out of it again unscathed. What a shame. This will also take a while. I want to have a good reference to see how your rates change. Your head shape is a little different from ours, but I think this one should do the trick. Perfect! Just as if it was made just as if it was made for you. I'm not so sure about that. Oh yeah, I'm missing a pillow down here. Okay. Uh, by the way, how can you even be sure that your machinery will, will have it will have no adverse effects on me? I suppose I can't. That is mildly unsettling. Your physiology is similar enough to ours that there shouldn't be any problems. I see. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Oh, uh, what is this, a polygraph test? No, this is something completely different. I'm also measuring your brain activity here. Besides, I don't really care about the truthfulness of your answers. Rather, this is to establish your natural highs and lows of the values I'm measuring. Uh, go ahead, then. Let's start with the easy ones. Let's say no to the following three questions. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Understood? Um, no. Apparently you get it, though. The questions start now. Are you human? No. I see. Is your favorite color blue? No. Interesting. Have you been convicted of any crime? No. I see. Now we'll get to the real part. You can answer the following questions however you like. Got it. Did it make you uneasy when you had to answer all the test questions negatively? No. I see. Interesting. Have you taken a liking to anyone here since you arrived? Yes. I see. Did you have any ulterior motives when you came to our world, or is it as simple as we are led to believe? I see. That's all for this test. You can take off the helmet, and I'll take care of the electrodes. This kind of seemed like an interrogation. I wanted to keep it simple by asking questions that could get a reaction. I see. It's kind of a shame, because in the end, a lack of additional subjects for this test means those results might not be very useful to us. You'd probably need a few more humans. Then why do them in the first place? The data is still useful, it's just not as useful as it could be. And besides, I did tell you I'd make the, make the most of this room. Well, what's next? I'm not sure yet. Do I want to get close enough to examine mucosa and orifices? So like one person in this room can answer that question. I guess so. We quarantined Reza when he initially arrived here, but skipped the procedure with you. If we're examining Reza, we didn't think humans by themselves posed any danger. Nevertheless, who knows what kind of illnesses and bacteria might be housing as an alternate host. I'm not asking- I'm not taking that risk without a full protective suit. Does that mean your procedures are going to get a lot more invasive? No, I'm not in the mood to put the suit on and sterilize the whole room. And to be fair, I haven't heard of anyone I've been in contact with getting any strange diseases thus far. Sure, but then I'd have to ask you if any of those actually got close enough to you. As in, intimately close. No orifice examinations, then. For the next part, we'll actually have to go outside. That sounds like fun. Depends. Here, strap this to your arm. And what's this? A handheld monitor. I want to measure how you perform during exercise. At least we found something you like. Let's go then, shall we? Sure thing. I don't know if I like using a wireless mouse. And now? Take one lap around the block and I'll be waiting for you here. You can go as fast or slow as you want, but try not to stop until you're back here. I'll be monitoring you, so I'll know if you try to do anything fishy. Piece of cake. Alright, let me... Uh, just in case I mess up along the way. Easier said than done, Keegan. I'll be watching. Anyway, you can start whenever. The monitor should take care of the rest. Trying for a consistent speed, I started with light jog. Soon I was outside the gate and around the corner when I met an unexpected surprise. Hey, Keegan! Hey, Remy, long time no see. 
Indeed, just enjoying the fresh air, I see. Yeah. You know, if you ever want to come by and visit the library or need to know anything, feel free to ask me. Yeah, well, thanks. My pleasure. Afterwards, I finished my lap around the block, arriving only a few minutes later after I had started. I suppose it was too much to ask for a lap without any breaks. Maybe I shouldn't have expected to be as fit as we are. I got distracted on the way. How so? Did you have a stop? Did you stop and smell the flowers? I met Remy. Remy, oh, I wouldn't mind if that bastard kicked the bucket too. He's such a self-righteous do-gooder who can't help but stick his nose where it doesn't belong. I don't care what he does as long as he doesn't mess with me, but he does mess with me, so I do care. Anyway, I've got your data, so we can head back inside if you're not too exhausted for not too exhausted to walk. Of course. Ugh. Looking at your data, it's kind of hard to evaluate it without having any reference points. How much exercise do you usually get? What? I see. You sure get to ask me a lot of questions here. All just part of the tests. Though, I think those were all the tests I needed to run on you for today. Does that mean we're done here? Oh, some of the data from the scanning machine has been processed. We can look at those. We can look at some pretty pictures of you. Without having frame. Oh. That's the best you can come up with? Seriously? Oh, right. I totally forgot that you're a mammal. To encounter an intelligent mammal, of all things. Well, reasonably intelligent at the very least. Why is that so surprising? You already have, you have, you already have your myths about humans. Myths are myths. Having you here in the flesh is an entirely different thing. It's not like I could use our myths to get a scan like this one. It just seems funny so funny to me. Do you nurse your young from your, from your teats as well? We do. Let me study your muscle groups for a bit. Do you want me to take my clothes off again? Um, I meant the pictures. Oh, I see. You can stay for a bit longer in case I have any questions. Okay. While I continued sitting on the bed, she went up to her table and started looking at the scans of muscle groups. As we talked, her eyes never left the screen. Some of these structures are very similar to those found in Dan those found in Damien's kind. I'm not surprised. His stature is similar enough. True, true. Now shut up and let me concentrate. Does that approach ever work? What are you talking about? You being that rude to everyone. We're done here. Get out. You can't take what you dish out, huh? Oh. Suddenly she got up. A look of rage crossed her face. I said get the heck out of here. She grabbed my arm and roughly walked me to the door. After shoving me outside, she quickly closed the door behind me. Okay. Huh. I don't think that was how it was supposed to go. Uh, I'm a little curious. Yeah. I'm a little curious. Alright, y'all, let's, uh... Remy, okay. Yeah. What's going on? Okay. Alright, give me one second, y'all. I'm gonna take a little water break. And... Hey, y'all, sorry about that. We're back. Uh, I'm a little curious as to... Why I failed this with Anna, things do not seem to have gone very well. See, what do you have, uh... How can you say that? That's how I feel. Would you prefer me to lie to your face? Anyways, I've got your data, so we can head back inside if you're not too exhausted to walk. Of course. Alright, let's see where I messed up here. Uh, say... a little. I see. Um, uh, which part of the test? So I think this one will do. Right here. The machine's been processed. We can look at some pretty pictures of you. Well, you don't have to look if you don't want to. Oh, right, I totally forgot that you're a mammal. Alright. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, let's see. That talks. Her eyes never left the screen. All right. Oh. True, true. Now shut up and let me concentrate. Does that approach ever work? What are you talking about? Ah! Why would you say that? Sorry. I apologize, that's a new one. Oh, okay. It's different now. All right. I don't want to make any excuses. With a high-pressure job like mine, I don't really get to go out and socialize much. 
Add some deteriorating circumstances to that and you get my life. Don't you have any friends? Not really. If you keep skipping grades like I did and we're on the fast track in university, you wouldn't really have the time to make her, to make her keep any friends either. I think the last time I had a real friend was more than a decade ago. What happened to that friend? Well... Oh. We went to the same class. We went to the same class for a while. Ended up skipping a grade after that year. And she found new friends. I didn't. We still met, but those visits became less and less frequent as time went on. I was around 10 years old when her parents prompted me, prompted me to visit her. She was in the hospital. Apparently had been for some time already. I didn't know because I hadn't seen her for quite a while at that point. She'd concentrated some sort of... She had, she had contracted some sort of degenerative disease that caused her to gradually lose control of her muscles. Her case was particularly bad. She was already paralyzed from the neck down by the time I went to visit her. When I entered the, her room, I couldn't even pretend to be her friend. Lying in the bed was just a crude image of her former self. As if she was already dead. I couldn't bear to see her like that. It scared me. I didn't stay long. Seeing her like that was... I just told myself I never wanted to end up like her. Dying slowly, painfully, and alone. That was the, time, that was the last time I saw her. She died a few weeks later. And that's why you became a scientist? Not really. I became a scientist because that's apparently what I'm good at. It doesn't make my work any less important, though. Just from what we did here today, we might we might make a few breakthroughs in several areas. Really? You're a completely different yet stable. You're a completely different yet stable evolutionary line. There are some things that are similar in our bodies, and others that are completely different. Anything that is different and works can tell us and tell us something new about biology. All the various species have their own challenges and diseases. It'll come in handy somewhere for sure. And you're doing all that because of your pure, unselfish heart. Not really, but if I do the brunt of the work, then I deserve to have my name on it. I guess so. Well, I think that's it for today. You can go if you like. Sure, thanks for having me. My pleasure. We can get together if you want to. Is there any, even anything left for you to test? Well, I'll have plenty of data for a while, so I guess we'd have to find something else for us to do. I see. Well, I'll leave you to your work then. Mm-hmm. All right, that went way better than the last time where she kicked me out. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Let's take a nail. Coffee time. Ah. Looks like I have some free time today. Let's get some well-deserved rest. Meet with Remy. Just gonna Remy stuff. He told me to meet him in the lobby, but nobody's here. Maybe I should look for him. He can't be too far, after all. It looks like you've seen this before. Skip to the end of the scene. No. As you wish. It was a quite... It was a quite... It was, blah, it was quite a spacious building, lined with many bookcases on multiple floors. From the looks of it, it seemed to be as much of an archive as it was a library, with immaculate order permeating the chamber. It was the kind of place I could see myself getting lost in for an afternoon or two, thumbing through all the interesting books it could offer me. I was looking around in wonder when suddenly a voice penetrated the silence. Remy! I couldn't see who the voice belonged to, but it came from the more private area in the back. I was followed by footsteps that approached it. Oh, you're still here? Of course I am still here. I have business to attend to. Well, certainly. I just assumed you'd be gone by now, Mara. I guess your assumption was wrong, then. It'd be a good boy and bring me some coffee, will you? Of course, Emera. I heard some more movement, though I, though I still cannot, though I still cannot see either of the. Either of the two who spoke behind all the bookcases. I think the area was off limits to a visitor like myself, and I decided to wait. Here you go. Now, let me read in peace, you silly boy. Of course. I heard him walk towards my direction until he emerged from behind a bookcase and spotted me. Oh, hello, Keegan. I didn't expect you so soon. Well, I'm glad to see you again at any rate. Was that Emera? Yes. Oh. So, this is where you work, huh? Well, most of the time, yes. That makes you a librarian, I suppose. There's a little more to it. I'm not just in charge of books. I'm a scholar and study them, too. For example, if the Council requests knowledge on certain topics like facts, statistics, or other information of interest, it's part of my job to research it and present it to them in an appropriate manner. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!